Fatality at an EDC rig. The operation at the time of the incident was lifting casing to rig floor at night time. The operation involved two ADs. One of the ADs, the injured person, was slinging casing at ground level, hook to stationary crane to lift pipe from ground level to catwalk. The other AD sling the casing on the catwalk and hook to auxiliary winch to drag and lift to the rig floor. The second AD slings. AD at the catwalk slung the casing at the center of the casing to lift to rig floor. The casing needs to be slung at one third from coupling. He then moves to the ladder. He must move to the safe zone at the end of the catwalk in clear view of the winch operator to give him the go-ahead signal. The auxiliary winch was operated by the electrician. He was not authorized to participate in casing running operation. According to the casing run plan, this job must be done by assistant driller. Assistant driller is at this time in the danger zone. According to the safety rules, all personnel must leave the danger zone while lifting casing or pipe to rig floor. The casing lift to the floor has begun. Due to limitation of the view, the WO could not see that the IP was in the danger zone. No crew member implemented stop work authority according to company policy and did not tell IP to move to the safe zone. According to company stop work policy, any employee has the right to stop unsafe act or condition. Casing coupler hits the transition zone, which does not secure the smooth movement of the casing between horizontal movement to the sloped angle of the ramp. Slinging the casing in the center violated the procedure and allowed the coupling end to hit the transition point. Casing should be slung at one third of length of casing to elevate the coupling end when lifting. The casing jumped at the pin end about 40 centimeters and turned towards IP. IP crouching facing the rig to sling casing at ground level, not aware of the situation around him. Other employees started to scream to alert IP of the danger. IP was hit by end of the casing. Good practices. The unsafe zone, as per safety rules, is the distance equal to the length of the casing plus one meter from center of catwalk. Rigmaster holds a safety meeting before the start of the lifting operation. Safety rules enforces the rule that winch to be operated by trained and certified rig floor employees. According to slinging practice, is to sling the casing at one third the distance from the coupling to allow for casing to be dragged over the transition point. Assistant driller slings the casing to winch rope, then moves to end of catwalk, faces the WO, check that the work area is clear, then gives the go-ahead signal to WO. WO will check the work area to be sure no people are in the danger zone and after that, go ahead with lifting. In the process of lifting, he is supposed to watch for the movement of the casing in the danger zone. WO is constantly observing the work area and can stop the lift if needed. Stop work authority is a policy of our company and must become the usual practice by all employees.